Longhorn Steakhouse managing partner Jessica Elizondo starts her day off by cutting a pristine ribeye steak. We hand cut our ribeyes in house. So we're taking those loins and basically doing the trimming and cutting those steaks to our specifications. Specifications that leave a lot of meat on the cutting board. Between 25 to 50 pounds, varying day to day. Which is why Jessica's steaks don't just feed her customers, they also feed the hungry. Instead of throwing that in a trash, we have decided to take that and donate it to the San Antonio Food Bank. Once Jessica is done cooking and bagging leftover trimmings that the restaurant's not going to use, she puts it in a bin like this one, along with bread, veggies, and anything else that the restaurant's not going to use. From there, that food is given to Lino over here with the San Antonio Food Bank. After that, the food is distributed to places like the Food Bank Kitchen here at Haven for Hope where executive chefs like Martha take it and turn it into delicious meals like this chili. They're gonna get a fantastic product from someplace like Longhorn Steakhouse one day. They'll get produce from a local farmer in Pleasanton the next day and put it all together to make a nursing meal for a family at Haven. Or 122,000. That's how many pounds of food the six Longhorn Steakhouses in San Antonio have donated this year alone. Hundreds of thousands of meals in one year. Just from taking that little extra and turning it into something like chili like we did here at Haven for Hope. It's just tremendous. You have that good feeling of we're helping out. In some way, somebody is going to benefit from what I do every day. The food bank says it has resources at the ready to help other area restaurants create similar programs. If you'd like to donate a story idea to Streets Corner, you can follow me on Twitter at Streets Corner or like us at Facebook.com slash Streets Corner. JT Street, Fox News at 9.